Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to choose Dragon Lord plus Pseudosax three different ways. Before we begin, make sure your game is updated to patch 1.04 as this is the patch this guide was made on. I hope this guide is helpful and if one method does not work for you, then two other methods are provided in this video as well. For the first method, you'll need the Earth Tree Seal on your right hand and Gravel Stone Seal on your left hand. You're going to use these to cast Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. For the armor, you can wear whatever you would like but if you wear lightning resistant armor, it will make this way more consistent for you. For the talismans, you'll need a Shabriri's Woe, which we will swap out for the Ritual Sword Talisman, Faithful Canvas Talisman, Radagon Sword Seal, and Bolt Drake Talisman plus 2. For our Physic, we have the Faith Knot Crystal Tier and Lightning Shrouding Crack Tier. Before you go in, you're going to summon your Mimic, swap out Shabriri's Woe for Ritual Sword Talisman, and then drink your Physic. Once the setup is done, you're going to run over to his backside and wait for two sets of lightning. As soon as you see the second set of lightning spawn, you're going to attack him with your spell. This will make him throw lightning under you. You can either dodge that lightning or just tank it. It's up to you. But keep your health high. It helps when the mimic just spams the spell with you, so make sure you do not have any other spells equipped besides this one, because you do not want the mimic to use the wrong spells. It's worth noting that with enough lightning resistance, you do not even really have to worry about dodging his attacks because they will not do enough damage. My setup is not even optimized to take minimum damage, so you can definitely make this setup way better. If he runs away, just stick under him and eventually he will fly up to go into phase 2. But your spell will still reach him as he is flying up, so make sure to keep casting it. And that's pretty much it for method 1. Now, let's go into method 2. For method 2, you'll need the Warcry Ash of War on a weapon in your right hand, and Bloody Heal is plus 10 in your left hand. I also have a seal to cast Golden Vow, and again, for the armor, you can wear whatever you want. For the Talismans, we once again have the Shabriri's Woe, which we'll swap out for the Ritual Sword Talisman, Roar Medallion, Axe Talisman, and Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. For the Physic, we have the Stone Barb Crack Tier to always stagger him, and Thorny Crack Tier for the damage. And lastly, we have the Blood Bowl Aromatic, which will boost our damage by 30% for 30 seconds. To use the weapon properly, make sure you first have the weapons in the correct hands. Now, cast Warcry. Then, two-hand the Bloody Healus in your left hand. And now, without moving the analog stick, hold the power attack button. If it does a stab attack or something like that, then it's likely that the weapons are not in the proper hands or the Bloody Healus is being swapped into or something. Just make sure to follow the instruction I have provided. Before you go in, you're going to summon your Mimic, swap out Shabriri's Woe for Ritual Sword Talisman, and cast Golden Vow. After that, you are going to spawn him and run through all the lightning to get behind him similar to the previous method. Once you're behind him, drink your Physic, pop the Blood Boil Aromatic, and then cast Warcry. Make sure you do not try to attack the tail like I did, just focus on getting behind him and hitting him once. You should always stagger if you have the physic with the stone barb crack tier in it. Once he staggers once, it's pretty much game over for the poor dragon, because after using it two more times, he is done for. And there's method 2, now let's move on to method 3. For method 3, you will need the serpent bow and 99 serpent arrows. Once you have these, you are going to hold the Ash of War button and fire into his wings. After about 7 or 8 arrows, he should be poisoned, and you will have to wait until the poison wears off. After that, just do it again until he's dead. If you guys are having any trouble, feel free to leave me a comment and I will try my best to help. With that, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and thanks for watching.